this is a quick video to explain what the slug is or URL slug in regards to building a post. In short, the slug is the variable bit of the URL on a website. So this is the post page for Kib of Chronicle. We're actually in the WordPress element. And on the right hand side here, you can see the URL slug for this post. So just to explain what this is and how we get to it, I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. So quickly, this is the Wikipedia page for the Kibworth Railway Station. So the slug element is this part here. So this part is the same for tens of thousands, millions of posts on Wikipedia, but the slug is this second half, and it's the bit that you construct when you write your post. An alternative example is the BBC. I mean, because obviously they write thousands and thousands of these things a day. They actually use a short URL code. But I mean, that's, that's really complicated. But in simplistic terms, it's the second half. Now, to show you the article as written and published on the Kibworth Chronicle site, this bit here is the slug. And we're going to deal with this in quite simple terms. We're not going to get into complications about SEO, but just in simple terms. So that, the highlighted bit, is the slug. And basically, the slug is constructed in basic from the H1 title that you put in when you construct the article. Picking up on an earlier video, it's really important that these H1 titles and theoretically the slugs are always unique. So if you're doing a article about Fleckney and Kibworth Running Club, which is an article we might do on a monthly basis, that's why it's important to then put in May 2021 and then June 2021 to differentiate it because your H1 title at the top of your page, just to show you this in real terms, so that's that's the H1 title. That H1 title, when you're constructing the post, is then forming the URL slug. And as you type the words in, it then puts a hyphen between each word, because um, you just can't have free text in the slug. Um, and you can't have URLs the same, because obviously from a Google point of view, it wouldn't know which Articles. If you just called it the Fleckney Running Club and we had three of those articles on the website, Google wouldn't, wouldn't know which one to go to, so which is important to always put that bit that differentiates it, the, the May 2021, or if it's um, Nature's Notes, include what the topic is. So it's Nature's Notes Moths or Nature's Notes Butterflies or Nature's Notes crows or jackdaws or whatever else we've, we've posted. So in simplistic terms, the URL slug will become whatever it is that you type into the 20, sorry, into the H1 title. It's kind of, this is where some things become really important. Once you've published the article, don't go back and change the H1 title or the URL slug. Kind of leave those be because now you've kind of set what a, a web landing page is. What will become more important a bit later on is actually when you move into SEO and you start working on the SEO um, because there are elements within SEO, once you've turned it on and the author has turned it on but hasn't then done various other bits, what will now start coming up is whether or not your your phrase that you have included, which is the 2021 local election candidates, does that then start to appear in your slugs, your URLs, your meta descriptions and other bits and pieces. So actually, on here, just to drop it in, key phrase in slug, more than half of your key phrase appears in the slug. That's great. 
So for example, and we're just slightly deviating here, if the slug says 2021 local election candidates for the for the election, whatever it says. So the slug says 2021 local election candidates for the Harbour District. If your key phrase didn't include any of those words, let's say the key phrase was vote now, then the Yoast SEO indicator, you'd put vote now in, it would now start coming back going, well, vote now doesn't appear in your slug, it doesn't appear in your H1, therefore you're not being very coordinated. So that's a slight distraction and that's going into SEO. But, so the purpose of the slug is to show very quickly to Google search engines and to anyone who's browsing organically in Google what the link is about. So you're effectively using the slug and the H1 title to describe what's in your post. Okay, so what you type up here will, will appear in your slug when you publish. Okay, so it's quite a lot of detail there, but that's what the slug is. We'll deal with the slug a bit further when we start talking about SEO, but that'll be for other videos. Okay, thank you guys.